everyone. It's me, Terry, of the Yarn Jewelry Podcast. Happy Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> Today is Crafting with Friends. How's everybody doing? Um, how was your weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. On Saturday, I met again with the craft lady, crafting ladies. Uh, this time we met at a library. Uh, they recently, just in the oh, past two or three months, I guess, we've been meeting an extra day, or some of them have. Uh, we always meet like the second Saturday of every month, and that is at a church um, that we use their, like, fellowship hall, I guess it is. And then, um, I guess some of the ladies were wanting to meet more often, and so they decided to um, uh, arrange it with uh, one of the branch libraries in the area that um, we can use their meeting room to meet in. And so that one happens like at the fourth Saturday of every month. And so that happened to be this past Saturday. Well, I can't always go. This is actually the first time that I was able to go. And so I went and I had such a fun time. In fact, there was a lady that just came in there. I thought maybe she just came in there because she happened to see us, um, some of the ladies, you know, bringing in sewing machines and stuff. And, uh, but no, I think actually the li the library, that branch had uh, posted, I guess, in their newsletter or something that, you know, there was a, I don't even know what, what they call it, but, you know, a ladies crafting, that craft day or whatever that was going to be there. And so she just came in and she asked us questions. Uh, Amy and I were one of the first ones that were there. And so she happened to be talking to us. And she asked us questions about like what we do and, and the different types of crafts, if it was for some, one particular craft or whatever. And so anyway, she was excited about it. And she said, oh, that's wonderful. She says, I just live around the corner. I'm, I'm gonna, I need to go run an errand and I'm gonna go pick up my craft stuff and I'll be right back. And, I was like, and so she did, she came back and she brought a, um, her sewing machine and she was uh, working on some baby, um, uh, like swaddling blankets that she was like hemming. She was using some uh, flannel material. And anyway, so that's what she was working on. Or not not swaddling, like receiving blankets. Anyway, uh, she had a fun time visiting with all of us. And I think she was excited about, you know, coming back and, and, and spending more time with the group. So that was fun that we were able to, you know, uh, invite someone or, you know, that somebody came in and join, joined us. Anyway, so what the project that I took was the Cupcake Square, which was the uh, pro new, new project that I was going to start working on for Crafting with Friends. And so that's what I took to work on. And do you know, I'm halfway through it. So I got a lot done on it. Um, I hadn't done a corner corner graph GAN type project, you know, using a chart. Hadn't done one in quite a while. And so um, I was excited to work on it and I was really enjoying it. And so I, I got half, I got halfway through. So the halfway point, which is where you stop increasing and then the second half you start decreasing and that starts closing up because it, you, it, it turns out looking like a triangle. And so the, the, the after the halfway then you start decreasing each side and that makes you that ends up you get with your square anyway <laughs> uh i got halfway through the chart and i was like well i would love to keep going on it i probably could have just finished it uh not just saturday i mean i got a lot done on saturday but between now and then today you know i was still work i worked on it a little bit um Mon on Monday, I think also, but uh, I knew that I needed to stop and work on some other projects. Like I hadn't worked on my Finish It Friday project yet. And so I needed to, you know, stop working on this so I could work on some other things, but it was really hard to stop. <laughs> but I am halfway through it, so I should be finished with it uh, by next week. So let me go ahead and hold it up. It is larger than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I was thinking, well, I know why. But I have done a, a squares before that were 25, 25 squares by 25 squares. You know, the same type of chart, same size. And when I did it before, I ended up, that, I think that was for the Christmas, one of the Christmas Afghans that I made. Well, it ended up being like 12 to 13 inch squares, something like that. But the reason it was is because I was doing the mini 
I think you call it the mini corner corner method where you use half double crochet so your stitches are smaller. With this one, I'm doing the basic corner to corner method with double crochets. And so this square, let me hold it up. I've got strings attached to it, as you can see. This one is turning out to be 18 inches square. It looks, it, it looks kind of funny, <laughs> but this is, you know, there'll be more icing over here. I'm almost finished with the bottom part of the cupcake. And then, like I said, there's more icing here with more sprinkles. This is the beginning of the cherry that's in um, at the top of the cupcake. And then uh, it'll have a little stem also up here that will be in this color, the cafe latte color. But anyway, so they, yeah, that's my halfway point so far. So it's going to be 18 inches square. And at first I thought, well, I'll just do this square and then um, work, you know, go around the whole thing and turn it into some sort of blanket or something. But I'm thinking that if it's 18 inches square, I might, if I do four of these squares, not the same, not all cupcakes, but if I do four squares this size, of some, like in other words three others three other images of this uh of the pattern that it would be uh 36 inches square all four of them to put together and that's already a good size for a baby blanket um so i could even do that and then go around it and make it larger I don't know. The, the other images are really cute. There's 12 of them all together, but I think if I do 12 of them, that's going to make like a pretty big, big sized blanket. Huh. I don't know. Let me go ahead. I'm going to pop in a picture right here of like all of the squares. It's like a, the finished blanket. It, what this is, is the Sweet Treats Crochet Along. I think that's what it was called. And of course, I don't, I don't remember who it was that did it. But anyway, I'll pop in a picture right here. So here is the the other squares. And then you can see there's really some cute ones. There's like a candy apple and a little a slice of cake that's really cute. There's a like a, a, an ice cream sundae or banana split or something. Um, and then there's like a creamsicle bar and, and a gummy bear. I mean, there's really some cute images. So, um, I might make some more of them and then just put them together, you know, and make a blanket so or, of some size. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be really cute. I don't know. That would be cute. So anyway, we'll see. What do, what do y'all think? I think the other squares are really cute too. So that's what's, uh, that's what is uh, kind of like making me want to do the other ones. But we'll see. I might. <laughs> anyway, so... There is my progress on that. So this cupcake square will be finished, more than likely, <laughs> next next week, you know, next Crafting with Friends. So if that's the case, then of course that means I need to come up with some more projects for you to vote on as far as what the next project will be. Um, I don't know. One of them may be, one of the votes <laughs> may be an, another image of one of those blankets, like the candy apple or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They are really cute. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So that's what I've been working on for that. <laughs> and then let's see, what else have I been working on? Well, I'm making some more of the filet crochet, um, squares, the ones I made. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. I finished the fourth one. And I'll tell you a little bit what happened with this one, but it's these flowers that I've been making. Remember this one is number four. Is that right? I think this is number four. The fourth one I've made, I, mean, I don't remember. The rest of them are in there on my craft desk, but I think this is number four. Isn't that silly? <laughs> anyway, so I was working on this one and I got all the way up to the top following my, my chart and I was thinking, man, the flower is kind of squatty. You know, it's like it, it didn't look right. And I was thinking, what is wrong with it? You know, and so I counted my rows and I think I'm supposed to have 20, 23 rows. Um, and I had 18. And I was like, oh no, what did I do? Because the flower looked okay. It just was a little bit 
squished this way, you know, up and down. It was a little smaller. And so I was looking to see what I did and I left out like four rows or something like right in the middle somewhere. It's like I was following this part and then for some reason, instead of getting these rows in here, that's what I did. And see, I've got three rows, those three holes right there. I, I skipped those and I was thinking it was this, I was up here at this, at this point because these two rows and these two rows are like the same. And I think that's what I did. Anyway, so I had to rip back. Luckily, I hadn't cut my yarn yet, but I had to rip back like halfway all this and then put in those extra rows that I missed and then, you know, redo it again. So anyway, I'm glad I caught it, but <laughs> it, that was kind of, funny that I did that. So I finished this one and then I started my next one and I still, I'm still not finished. This is like my second, I think it's my second skein of yarn. I think that's right. And I haven't finished it yet. And this is going to be, it's well, I'll let you know tomorrow in the regular yarn joy podcast episode, because I'll be showing this tomorrow. But, um, I don't know if this is my fifth square or my fourth square. Now I've I'm doubting myself. So anyway, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to have plenty, I think, to be able to do nine squares is what I was thinking about doing. Or, well, I had a viewer gave me the idea to do it. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I was working on that a little bit. I started working on the crochet hook case, uh, the ammonite hook roll. Uh, I started working on that because last week I didn't work on it uh, at all. And so I wanna go ahead and finish it up. So all I have to do is that seashell, fossil seashell, uh, the clasp, you know, that you put the flap that you attach to it and then that ends up being the closure on the hook roll. So I need to go ahead and do that. I, I, I start working on that clasp and I should be able to work, finish that. And, and um, maybe it'll be a finished object for tomorrow, which would be good. And let's see what else I've been working on. Well, I still need to do four more baby hats for this or for October, but I want to get them finished soon because I need to go ahead and contact Jennifer, who is the lady that picks them up for me and um, coordinate a time, you know, so then she can come and meet me. It'll have to be on the weekends or to come pick them up because she is a teacher and so she works during the week. And so I need to go ahead and get those finished um, so I can, um, uh, give them to her. And I pulled out a notebook. It's not, I wasn't actually looking for a hat, another hat pattern, but I pulled out this notebook. I'm trying to unload it. Of course, my desk is like a mess, really a mess right now with piles. But I found this notebook in my, um, in my, my craft table in there, in my craft room. And it's a bunch of uh, patterns that I printed out years ago. And so I was looking through it just to see, you know, because there's lots of these patterns I haven't looked at in a long time. And so, oh, I know, I was looking for another pattern. But anyway, so I started looking through them and I was like, oh yeah, that's where that pattern went. And that, oh yeah, I forgot I used to like that pattern, you know? And so I pulled out some patterns and one thing I found is I found a, a bee hat right there. And so I think I'm gonna make a few of these for some of my last hats, bumblebee hat. I think those are really cute. And I've made them before. It is a newborn bumblebee hat, but I will go down hook sizes and maybe even use a DK weight yarn to make it a preemie. It's, it's a pattern from Crochet World back in August of 2007, but I had printed it out. And so, yeah, um, it, it's uh, it'll be yellow and black, of course. And so I'm going to make a couple of, at least maybe two, maybe four. I don't know. I, I'm going to make at least two. Uh, my, oh, let me go ahead and put this on. Oh, I have it on silent. Okay. Well, my watch like vibrated and I didn't know what it was. Okay. And then I found this one and I have made this, this uh, pattern several times. I bought it through Mary Maxim. I've made it for wedding gifts several times. Like at least, let's see. I made it for two different wedding gifts. Yeah. And I also made it a third time. Yeah, I made it a third time and I donated it to be auctioned off. 
at my church for they're raising money for something. I don't remember what now. But anyway, I've made this pattern three times. I love this pattern. It's so fun. And I haven't made it in a long time. It makes a pretty good size throw. You know what? I have made it more than that. I've made it four times because I made it as a, a Christmas gift for somebody else too. <laughs> anyway, um, and it makes a pretty good pattern, a pretty good size. Well, it says 46, yeah, 46 by 60. Uh, but it is using, it, uh, it was originally calls for uh, Karen Simply Soft, which is worse of weight yarn. But I was thinking, you know, I just got that DK weight yarn that I showed in the Happy Mail from yesterday. And I was thinking if I used, did this in DK weight yarn, it might make a good size baby blanket. It'd be smaller, you know, it wouldn't be so big if I used DK weight yarn. And I think it would be pretty because look at the patterning in it. It's really nice. It is a fun pattern and it is very pretty. So that's why I pulled this out because I was thinking that this would be a really good pattern for some of that DK weight yarn, you know, and it'd be like a really special because this, it turns out really, to me, it's on more like a heirloom type thing. Like, oh, you want to keep it, you know, you know, it's like a special thing. Um, you understand what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it, it's very, it's very, um, it's a very special pattern, I think. It's called, it's Mary, from Mary Maxim, it's called Annie's Lace Throw. But I thought that it would make a pretty baby blanket. Yeah. So, anyway, I pulled it out so I would remember that I had it. <laughs> and then I pulled out the, the B hat pattern. And then I was looking through here and I found some duplicate patterns of things. And, and then some other things I thought, oh, maybe I might try that. But I don't know. I might not. I don't know. Anyway. I was enjoying looking through these old patterns. So that's what I was doing today. <laughs> and um, uh, what else? What else is going on? Um, that's all I've been working on, really. I, uh, I found a really good, I copied it down. But somebody, you know how they, they have those short videos, reels and shorts and different things. I don't remember if it was on Instagram or if it was Facebook reels. But anyway, somebody was talking about a crock pot recipe. And I, I copied it off because I thought it sounded really good. And all it is basically is, is stew meat, beef stew meat and potatoes and onion soup mix and butter. <laughs> and so I copied it off. I might make that sometime. And I will let you know... Um, how I like it, but somebody was doing, it's called Croctober because it's October now. And so she's going to do like 30 days of crock pot recipes. And I've been looking for like dump and go type crock pot recipes, uh, or even maybe prepare ahead, like freezer meal crock pot recipes. And so, uh, I thought that sounded like a good one. So I did that, and that's not crochet related, but this is crafting with friends, so this is just a visiting day, too. <laughs> uh, I mean, also, you can see Teddy back there with his old man diaper on. He's doing good. <laughs> um, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, that's about it, really. This is kind of cool. Well, it's night. I've got 19 minutes on the clock. There it looks like the timer on the camera. Um, I really don't have anything else to show. Um, oh, my Finish It Friday uh, uh, project. I am finished with it. Well, actually, I need to do one more item on it. It was those uh, the animal squares, and I was, so I, I finished that animal square. And I, I had talked about maybe doing like a checkerboard effect and um, to make it, to turn into blanket, so I would have like an animal square and a solid square and an animal square, you know, and solid like that. And so I kind of uh, drew it out the way I was thinking that it would go. And I think I'm gonna do, I need to do five more animal squares and then like that would give me 12. And then I need 13 solid squares. So maybe I'll go ahead and make a solid square, you know 
for my finish of Friday. Do, fin I've got that animal square and then I'll have the solid square and then I'll show it on Friday and then it will go back into the drawing, you know, to draw out. And then when I get it again, then I can, you know, make some more solid squares or make another animal square. But anyway, and I've got five more animals. I went ahead and researched to, to see what other squares I could make. And I've, I think I've got five more picked out that I'm going to make for that blanket project. So, uh, so I did that. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, come on Friday, uh, check out my video for fr on Friday for finish it Friday and you will, uh, you'll see that square and then I'll talk about it then, you know, or whatever. And then of course we'll be drawing, I'll be drawing another pro. Oh, and I also, uh, let's see, where is it on, in my, on my messy desk here. Oh, I have a few more strips that I've done, uh, you know, some more projects to add to the, oops, and add to the bucket to, um, uh, to draw, you know, more projects. So, uh, not bucket, that little container. So, Finish It Friday, I think we'll be continuing for a while. I've really been enjoying doing it because it's really inspiring me to go ahead and, you know, get some of these projects worked on and, and, uh, I'm so happy that I was able to finish that fox last week, you know, because he had just been in pieces for, probably two years. That's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really enjoying that. And so uh, I'm glad that you are too, as far as is, at least in the co in comments, there's quite a few people that said they were enjoying that. So um, that will be continuing, I think, for a while. Um, I guess that's it. I'm just visiting. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I hope maybe you're having some good weather or beginning of fall weather. It's very hot here still, upper 90s degrees, you know, Fahrenheit. Uh, but in the mornings, it's a little bit cooler. You can kind of tell there's a little change, you know, there's been a change in the weather, but it's still getting really hot in the afternoon. So I hope those that were in the path of the hurricane, I hope... Um, you didn't have a whole lot of damage. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, everybody check in down below in the comment section. Tell me, tell me you're, you're good, you know, as, as far as the ones that were, you know, in that area, um, you know, Florida, uh, Georgia, Tennessee, you know, the Carolinas, all that. So I do have a YouTube friend, Kim, and she, her channel is a girl in her phone. I will link it down below in the description box. She's not, well, she does some crafting, you know, but but she's more, um, she's just fun. She has some fun videos. I've struck up a really nice friendship with her uh, back when we were both doing Weight Watchers and then we tried Nutrisystem for a little bit. So she's kind of like weight loss and, and just um, um, saving money type, thrift, thrifty type, videos and just visiting and she has Dollar Tree and grocery hauls and in and, and, um, thrift store hauls and she's just great. I really have enjoyed my friendship with her. Well, anyway, she's in, anyway, <laughs> she is in North Carolina, but she wasn't in the path of where, where all the bad damage was. So I'm, I was thankful for that. But anyway, let me know. Hope everybody did well with that. The ones that were in that path. Of course, we had no effects of it because it didn't come to Texas. So, um, but I, I did definitely pray for those that were in the path and I continue to pray for those, uh, the ones that have had damage. I hope everything kind of gets back to normal quickly. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go, uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and come back tomorrow and we will do uh, the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. I'll show you what else I've been looking at. I'm going to look at my notes. I don't have a lot in my notes for tomorrow yet, but I will um, show you what I've been working on and um, we'll see what I get done today. <laughs> and we'll have another visit then. And then, of course, on Friday, finish it Friday. So, okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a great day. I've already said that, but I really hope you do. <laughs> We'll see you tomorrow in the next video, okay? Bye.